Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. In this video, I am going to discuss the differences between the primary and secondary response. Here, this is the first exposure of a particular antigen to the immune system and the first response is primary response. Then on subsequent exposure, that is secondary response is produced which is also known as anamnestic response which gives a higher P. So we will compare the primary and secondary response. First of all, antigen type. Here in primary response, both T dependent, that is TD and T independent, that is TI, type of antigens are involved. Here only TD antigens are involved, that is T dependent antigens are involved. Responding cells are NAV, B cells and T cells. Here the responding cells are memory B cells and T cells. The lag period, lag period is longer. It will take time to develop. It may be 4 to 7 days. Here the lag period is shorter. That is 1 to 3 days. Then peak response is produced in 7 to 10 days. Here the peak response is produced in between 3 to 5 days. Then the magnitude of peak response, it is low, the magnitude is very high, it may be in between 100 to 1000 x. The antibody isotype on first exposure, IgM predominates, while in secondary response, IgG predominates. Then antibody affinity is lower in primary response while it is higher in secondary response. So this is the comparison or the points of difference between the primary and secondary response. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.